It's officially fall, y'all. I am so ecstatic. Fall and winter are some of my favorite times of the season. You guys know that for those of you guys who have been around here for a while. I cannot wait to share today's shopping haul with you guys. I was so ecstatic to be celebrating my ninth anniversary on the first day of fall. So if you guys are watching this, be sure to wish Mr. Turner and I a happy anniversary down in the comments below. I shared a lot of my old pictures and things like that with you guys on Facebook and Instagram and I hope you guys check them out and enjoy them if you are here for the very first time hi my name is Melanie and I am the founder and creator of this YouTube channel living luxuriously for less where we celebrate decorate and enjoy everyday life for less so today I felt like there would be no better way to kick off the fall season um, than with a fall shopping haul so I recently uh, journeyed to a nice kind of a variety store here in my area because I needed to go and meet with the bride about a wedding and I wanted to meet with her at the venue. And when I went to go meet with her at this particular venue, I realized that I was only like six minutes away from one of my favorite hole in the walls, you know, in terms of shopping. So if you guys have like that specialty hole in the wall type store, definitely let me know the name of your favorite hole in the wall store down in the comments below. But Without any further ado, I'm gonna hop into today's shopping haul. If you guys love all things shopping, definitely join me every Tuesday on Amazon. I go live, I share you know, a plethora of items in terms of home decor, um, event decor, party decor, birthday decor. I share it all and I also do tutorials on how to use them. So if you love that type of thing, be sure to follow me on my Amazon store. I will link it here as well so you can definitely go and check it out and you don't miss out on another live. Now, the first things first, the first thing I did for fall is I got me some fall nails. I absolutely love them. They're brownish color and I just think they're so cute. My hands are so, I feel like they're so fat. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I got my fall nails done today and then I went to meet with my bride and you guys, I absolutely love the venue. I'm gonna put a clip in the venue here so you guys can see it. So much potential in this particular venue. I cannot wait. Um, so if we, if she decides to accept my proposal, you guys know I'll take you along for the ride. Um, next up, I have several fall weddings and uh, fall events that I'll be sharing with you guys that were from late summer, early fall, so stay tuned for that. But today we're going to be doing, I also have a fall home tour coming up. So I will share that with you guys as well. I know it's a lot. So yes, we have fall weddings, fall events. We did some, I have a fall home tour coming up, a fall tablescape. We did our front door for the fall. I need to show you guys the updated video. And today we're gonna do some fall shopping. So the first thing that really captivated my eye was um, this, I love like, um, things from farmer markets or whatever. So they had this whole farmer market section and they had some mild chow chow. I don't know if you guys know what chow chow is, but you can use it on a lot of your vegetables and things like that. I love it on my veggies. Um, and they all, it's also pretty good on hot dogs, but I prefer to eat it on like any type of green vegetable or peas. So I'm a country girl. So this is um, an Amish brand and I cannot wait to see the little horse right there so you know it's good the next thing that I picked up was um, DOS jam and this is the hot pepper jam I absolutely love this on like crackers with cream cheese and this hot pepper jelly on top it is so absolutely delicious and it will be great on these miniature um, charcuterie boards that I have for like football season and I'll share the charcuterie board a little bit later on in the shopping haul but I am going to love you know putting this on crackers and I would love any of the recipes you guys may have that uses this hot pepper jam the next thing that I got and these are all these are all the food items that I got for the fall this apple butter who does not like apple picking in the fall um, I don't know what I like most, like apple picking or pumpkin picking. Which one is it for you? Is it apple picking or pumpkin picking? Let me know down below which one you would prefer. 
over the two, but I absolutely love apple butter. Um, I get this a lot at Cracker Barrel and at the Waffle House with the Raisin Toast. I'm a country girl, okay? So I can't wait to do our fall breakfasts with this apple butter. My husband is gonna be so excited to see this. And this was like, this jar was only $5.99, a jar of apple butter this, this size was $3.99. So of course I went with this one because I feel like he will definitely enjoy it. Next up, I picked up some things in terms of like fall movie nights. And I, I'm gonna open and unbox this with you guys here live i did go ahead and open the package and i just think this is so super cute it has um let me open it up and i am sorry in advance for the cr crinkling and crackling i really really don't like to do that so my apologies so it has this cute little um brown kind of like a stand and then this is some chalk Woo! so and let's see here here is a chalkboard and it says now family moving night now showing this would be a great cricket pot project too i'm pretty sure i can dupe this using um my cricket so that is going to be so much fun okay and it also has a little chalkboard in the back so i'm gonna slide these two i think you just slide them through here yeah okay and then i guess you can put the name of the movie on here for like your movie night i love so i guess like one week robert will pick and then one week i will pick so i just think that is so super cute if the kids were here if we had our nieces and nephews we would let them pick them as well and then on the inside it has like a little movie book and it says now showing and i get i would engrave this with the turner um movie theater and um you just keep like a journal this is so cute y'all where you, you type in like i have seen it and then it has De title date watch whose idea who's watching and the summary and then you can like rate the film and um do the ratings for the movie the characters and the favorite lines i just think that is so super cute to keep up with all of them and you it has up to and then at the end it has like type of movies you want to see at the end where you can kind of keep all of that journal like different type of movies to see and then at the very end, um, it says Ohana means family. Um, family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. It's from Lilo and Stitch. And it just, that's the end. I just think this is so super cute. And you can definitely just kind of slide this down in your family movie night. Um, little announcement. And then here is popcorn bags. And I just think these are so cute. Let me get it out and you can put the name. This is family night, family movie night. And then it says now showing on the back and you could just put each person's name and we have all kind of popcorn salts and things like that. So all you need is like a bag and then the popcorn salt and this and a good movie. Y'all that is so super cute. Let me know, like leave me a star if you like this down in the comments. I absolutely think that is so adorable. So super adorable and it was only $5.99. So of course I had to buy some things for myself. So for me, I ended up getting um, the clutches. So they had these clutches in like a little basket that was on clearance and they were $5 for the clutches. And I just thought they were so cute. They did have a purse cover in there. And um, this one is like a burnt orange, perfect for the fall. And then they also had this mustard yellow topish color. I thought both of these would be really cute fall purses. And not only did they have that, that was perfect for the fall. They also had two wallets. And one of them was in this pretty, it's like a crocodile wallet. One was in this orange and one was in a green. So I thought those were super cute for the fall as well. I don't really have a lot of wallets, so I definitely needed some and um, very spacious as well. And you can also use it as a clutch and you can also slide your cell phone in these as well. And then I got a red one 
Um, and I can monogram this one using my Cricut. So I think that's really cute. And it has a place for like your driver's license and cards. And then on this side, it has a place for your cash and change. So I just thought these are all really cute. And the like I said, the clutches were $5 and the wallets were $3. So I think I paid $15 for everything. Next up was this cute little, it was like a crossbody. And it's gold and white. Y'all see that? It was, it was on clearance because it was broken. But y'all, I can do so much with this. I think I paid $5 for this one, 5 or $3. But it's broken right here. Of course, I can get it fixed quick, pretty easily. Just buy another one of these from Hobby Lobby and clamp it on. Or I can... Um, like take it off totally and wear it as a clutch which is probably what i was going to do with it anyway because i don't really see wearing this as like a full purse for my own personal preference but it is so sharp like that is so sharp to me okay so i cannot wait to wear that so those are all well i got one more thing for me sorry the last thing that i got for me is this absolutely adorable um makeup case and it's like an extraordinary case that creates more like compact living especially if you're like in an apartment or a hotel and you need more countertop space this is definitely something that can help with that and i need that so it's two cases here i'm opening this with you guys i'm not even sure how it works okay so it unsnaps there and then once you unsnap it, it kind of rolls out into ooh, a bigger space. And then I guess you can put all your makeup items that you're using here and you can open it up. Oh, it goes all the way out. I'll show you guys in just a second. What I mean. So you can open it up and put all your makeup and brushes in there. You can open up this side and then you can just kind of sit it on the sink or the countertop space and make more room. And let me make sure I got it all stretched out. And this is like how big it actually gets. And you can store all of your things in there. So that is perfect for like a hotel or shopping or if you're doing your makeup in the car or if you have an apartment or if you're in a dorm room and you needed to save some space. For me, I need it on my, on my countertop. And having that little black area in the middle is perfect for me not getting makeup like all over my countertop. Okay. So um, I'm gonna share with you guys this gorgeous pumpkin that I got from the Dollar Tree and these beautiful mini charcuterie boards that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I want you guys to let me know how much you like them in the comments below. Okay, you guys, so every year I promise myself that I am not gonna buy more pumpkins um, for fall and I fail miserably this year. When I went into Hobby Lobby, the first thing that really caught my eye for fall were these adorable chartreuse boards, these little cutting boards that can be used for like, to make the, um, I said chartreuse and that's a color. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna think of it. You guys know it's kind of like chartreuse, but it's not chartreuse. What is it? A chartreuse board. Okay, so yeah, so I picked up these mini, mini chartreuse boards. I thought these would be super cute for like if you were having some girlfriends over or if my husband's having some guys over from, um, you know, for the football season. I thought these were super cute for that. And then I could not um, pass up this, these bamboo spoons, the little miniature spoons. I thought they would be perfect for the little chartreuse boards as well. And then I went into the Dollar Tree and you guys, I said I wasn't gonna buy any pumpkins, but I lied, okay? I went into the Dollar Tree and I bought an entire box of pumpkins. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I literally could not stop buying pumpkins because I can use these for so many upcoming events as well as fall decor. And so let me tell you guys my thoughts. So first of all, the first two that I actually wanted were the teal and the, um, I bought these a few weeks ago. So I wanted the teal and the, um, mustard yellow ones because i'm going to do a tablescape in teal and mustard yellow but it's going to be like an outdoor picnic 
So stay tuned for that. Super duper cute. And then I could not resist the cranberry blush um, and slate blue and navy blue ones because I have a wedding coming up in November, which I'm gonna also pair with a Lux Academy class. And so I have a wedding coming up in November and I was going to include these like around the signage and things like that on the welcome table. So I was gonna include these because these are the colors of her wedding, the slate blue, the um, blush and um, the cranberry or wine color. And so I was gonna include these just like in the bathroom next to a candle to make it feel really cool and fallish, maybe next to the guest book, you know, different places. Um, I could also put these in front of like the different foods and have like the name of each food hanging from that on a tag on the um, food buffet table, or I could stick a pick in the bottom of it and include it in a centerpiece. Like I can do so much with these and they are just incredible. I could not believe that these were at the Dollar Tree. And the next thing I bought was in Buffalo Check. You guys know it's not going anywhere. I only purchased three of these because I felt like they would look good for one of my clients that I'm decorating for. And so I got just three of those. And then the other ones, I got a lot more because I'll be incorporating those into some fall decor. Finally, I got this rust color. I thought it would be absolutely gorgeous for a neutral and rust and brown type event that I have coming up. So I'm gonna in incorporate that. And it's a fall event, it's like a family type event. Be great for Thanksgiving. All of these would be great for a fall tablescape or Thanksgiving. You could also like um, use them as name cards and like put the person's name you know, hanging off like a, a natural kind of uh, name tag. I think it would be super duper cute. So that wraps up everything that I got for the fall. Um, I did do a fall fashion haul. So if you guys haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. But now I have some Christmas items, y'all. I know it's super early to start sourcing things for Christmas, but when I saw these pieces, I had to have them. So one of them is like this little gold leaf. It is so beautiful. Hold on, excuse the crinkling. I just wanna share with you guys like how absolutely gorgeous this is. You see all the beading and stuff like that on it. So I have it in gold. I have it, excuse me, in white and in like a champagne silver color. I think it's gonna be huge, you know, this, um, holiday season and with everything that is going on, I think it's more important now than ever to go ahead and start securing your Christmas decor because the ports are full and they're telling people to go ahead and start Christmas shopping um, because they are afraid that things will not get here in time and that also the prices are going to increase. Another thing that I found were like these gorgeous balls. I think they are so gorgeous. These were just $2.99 and this was at my little hole in the wall store that I was telling you guys about. And then they have these big balls that were $5.99. And I got those in the silver, the gold, and also in the, the silver, the gold, and also in red. Because Keelan and I are already starting to work on his um, studio. So these are just so super cute. So super cute. And then the last thing I got was this cute pick. I think this would be so cute in a centerpiece or in a, like a woodsy rustic type tree. But look at the little gold um, eggs in it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This would also work in a fall tree as well. It's like a bronzy brown and gold mixture. Antique. It's just so gorgeous. So that is all that I have in terms of my fall decor starting to, you know, pick up some of the things for Christmas. I think some of the trends for this Christmas are gonna be very glamorous and, um, but very elegant, not like overstated, you know, bling in your face glam, but more like understated, classy, elegant glam and monochromatic colors. So I think that's gonna be some of the trends for Christmas in uh, 2021. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to be decorating several houses this Christmas. So you guys will get to see a lot more variety than what I've been able to share with you guys here in our home over the past few years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you guys who may 
be interested in joining us for Lux Academy, I am highly, highly, highly considering starting a, um, like a membership in Lux Academy and each month I'll share a new skill for those of you guys who've already gone through the class. And in November, I'll be sharing with you guys how to decorate a Christmas tree step by step. It's definitely something you can do as an add on to your business during the holiday season. And it's something that can prove to be um, quite beneficial to you and to your company. So definitely check us out on luxacademy.podia.com. I will leave that link right here if you guys are interested in enroll enrolling. I have a live class coming up in November, the 11th through the 13th, as well as a um, a class that you can take that is a pre-recorded class and you kind of take it at your own pace and I'm definitely here to answer any questions and to assist you along the way thank you guys so much again for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time it's Melanie with living luxuriously for less happy falling no just kidding that didn't sound right I don't want you to fall uh, I don't know Okay, that's it. You guys have a great night. Bye.